Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Are you saying hi? She is, well, in and out of sleep at the minute. Um, so today is her nighttime routine. However, this, well, it's four o'clock, we don't start just yet, but I always do this throughout the day. I always get, whenever I get five minutes and she's asleep, why am I so hot Whenever I get five minutes um, throughout the day when she's asleep or she's happy playing, I get like her baby grows um, vest and bath stuff ready just so that if she is really grumpy, like when it comes to bath time, I can just crack on with it. So that's literally what we're going to do. That lighting is terrible because I like light, but hey ho. So we're just going to get a fresh baby grow. Lay that out and we're going to pick out a nice sleep suit for you. What should we go for today? What should we go for? Does anybody else just have like favourite sleep suits? To be fair, I don't think that would fit her anymore. Oh, that will not fit her anymore. That makes me sad. Put that to one side. Um, oh, Lila, what should we put you in? Should we put you in rainbows? We do like a good rainbow, don't we? So, I, so yeah, I get them out. I even get a nappy ready. Get a nappy ready. And then I go get a sleeping bag, and I think that's in her crib, so bear with me. Uh, sleep suit ready. Please excuse the state of her room. It's just an absolute mess. Um, but I always put that in a pile there. Um, and then I get her towel, which we wash. Like, we've got a few, but we use them once or twice. And um, just, like, as long as they're clean. So I get her towel ready. along with I think her bath products are actually still in the bathroom from last night I shall oh she has a bath every night um some people agree with it some people don't um but yeah so we leave her bath in the actual bathroom with her sponge we do have a wash cloth so but that's currently in the wash um and then I've got her baby products here so I've got the uh, vino baby and then I've also got the um Burt's baby shampoo so I use that for her hair and then I have a brush and a jug in here. So that's ready there. And then we have her pile ready for when she gets out the bath. And then we have a towel ready for the bath. Now if any of you guys have any questions about this so far. So I actually did have like a type of nursing chair. Um, but we needed more space downstairs so we got rid of that and brought this up here so that's why it's absolutely bloody huge it's not, we didn't plan for it to be up here but our house is just too small also get um, a towel and some oil which i just popped on my bed depending this again this doesn't happen every night hi it all depends on what mood she's in when it comes to bath time so i'll put the oil and that in my bed uh, bedroom and we will sit and have like baby massage before she goes for a bath and that doesn't happen every night now it may come to tonight and she might just be really grumpy and she just doesn't want to do it so i just i won't do it and then we'll just put her straight for a bath um i don't know how much um, obviously i want to show you our bath this bloody bit of that our uh, nighttime routine but i don't know how much of the this hair i don't know how much of the like obviously bath time you're gonna see and the baby massage you'll see if we do do it because obviously i don't really want to show my naked baby um all over youtube um so yeah that's that um i do also give her a bottle of breast milk at night but i'll get into all that in a bit um but yeah that's it for now and i will catch up with you when bedtime starts wow i look all rough um, sorry about the camera quality, my camera is upstairs on charge and I'm currently in the middle of feeding Lila. I'm not going to show you because I've full on got my boob out, like, there's no hiding it. Um, so it is, what is the time? It's like 20 to 8, something like that. We always start Lila's bedtime routine at around 8 o'clock. If she's a bit grumpy, I'm sorry, you just heard her poo. Um, if she's a bit grumpy, we start a little bit earlier. But what I also wanted to say was, like, obviously she has her bottle after, which you'll see after her bath. But I don't make her wait for her bottle. Like, if she wants a feed right before the bath time, she, she'll have a feed. Some people, like, which is fine, you do you. But some people will wait there, like, make their child wait out for that bottle. Um, 
I just let, because Lila's breastfed, I just let her feed as and when. She doesn't feed every three or four hours, she feeds as and when she wants. Um, so she's having, to be fair, she's having quite a big feed now. So the bottle that I've got ready for in the fridge, I'll just um, probably half or take an ounce or two off it. Because I know she won't finish it. Because um, obviously I don't want to warm it up and then waste the rest of the breast milk. I don't know what it is about wasting breast milk, it just triggers me. Aren't you? You're just in a happy little world eating and farting and pooping. As you just heard, another fart. I apologize. And another one. I apologize. I uh, will now leave you with that heart. Had a bum change and she's happy, aren't you? She has like just been sick all over herself though, which is lovely. Have you just been sick again? Nice. Nice. Yes. So I'm just going to let Lila have some time. Hi! Just gonna get Lila have some time down there whilst I get her bottle and a few bits ready. Um, and then I'll give her a bit of tummy time just before I go up because she like she tolerates it for about thirty seconds to maybe fifty seconds before she starts screaming. Um, so I'll do that before we go upstairs. So what is the time now? Time is so it's seven fifty two. So we should so yeah we'll start it around about now. She's gonna have her little playtime down there um, whilst I get a few bits ready. I also just wanted to say as well, oh yes, so Luke would usually be here um, at bath and bedtime, so between, on a Wednesday and Thursday Luke does late night um, at college, so he does like his work and then he goes to college, um, so I do bath time, bedtime on my own, so usually he would do like bottle and put her to bed, unless she's like suffering from a reflux, which she's got her like first day of reflux medication today, so hopefully, fingers crossed, she does well with the bottle um or any feed she struggles with at night but um anyway so yeah normally i would do like bath massage bath time get her dressed we'll get her dressed together um and then he'll give her a bottle and then pop her to bed whilst <laughs> whilst i uh pump um but on a wednesday thursday like i said i do it on my own because he doesn't get out till about yeah. nine o'clock and she goes to bed at nine o'clock um sometimes gets back a little bit earlier tries to so we can see her before she goes down but just does do tonight just you're gonna knock that on your face yes you are this is the setup for the baby massage so i just have this towel and um, because i let her have like i take a nappy off and just let her have some like nappy free time just in case she i don't want to like make an accident on the bed and then we use the johnson's baby oil and then we use this as like a sensory thing and we like put over her body and just let her have a feel and play with it but This is usually around the time of night that she does struggle like with her reflux. So I'm hoping that medication helps. But by the looks of it, it's not. This just shows that it all just doesn't go to plan like as you, you think like you think it will. So not every night she has a massage because she just is grumpy and tired. Even though she didn't wake up that like too long ago, you are ready for a bath and bed, aren't you? So I'm gonna skip massage tonight. Oh, is that nice? You 
Design nine. Let's get all of the back of that hair because of all those sickies that fell into the back of them and you were sick. And then we're gonna make sure you stay nice and warm to keep all the water on you. That's Miss Lila all changed and moisturised and ready for bed. So this is currently the state of the bathroom. Lila, once I turned the camera off, literally as soon as I turned it off, she had a poop explosion in the bath. So the bath's looking all gross and there's nappies everywhere. And, but we will, well I say we are, I'll sort that out once Lila's down. The cat is just sprawled on the floor. I also get um, our room ready so that once she's had a feed and she's calm that we can go straight into our bedroom so the noise, which the sound machine's on, the lights are off, that's ready. Um, I also want you to know, so like, as soon as I get her out of the bath, I um, obviously I turn the camera off because obviously she's naked, um, but like she screams and she does not stop screaming until she is dressed and we've picked her back up again because of the temperature and she's about to start getting grizzly again, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah. So it's completely normal for babies to just be crying and screaming. Don't feel like she is Miss Perfect, are you? Because she gets grizzly. I just it's not something that I'm comfortable like recording. Like, I don't want to sit there recording. I know that obviously you should like make them like it's normal for babies to cry, but I'm just not. Oh no. I'm just not comfortable crying uh, recording Lila crying. Um, so yeah, now we're going to have a bottle, read a book, and hopefully we're going to go down great, great tonight, aren't we? Oh, she is very grumpy, so I'm going to just give her a bottle and put her to bed. The time is half eight, so that took about half an hour with playtime and getting ready for bath. Yeah. I try and set her up as well, just to help her reflux. As high as I can reach, said a little nut brown hair. And I love you as high as I can reach, said big nut brown hair. That is quite high, thought a little nut brown hair. I wish I had it on that. <laughs> went down really quick i don't want you guys to think that that happens every night because it doesn't sometimes we i've been up there and i've been laid for three hours until she's gone to sleep before um but 
usually we're up there for about 10-15 minutes rocking her and I don't put her down zone like fast asleep I put her down in that awake sleep stage so she knows that she's in a crib and she's kind of starting to sort of settle um, but I always do this so this is the camera like the monitor that we watch on and you can see that like, on there like her breathing up and down and I'm constantly just sat here watching like her breathing up and down I'm that bad um, but in the clip before I probably do a voiceover but in the clip before um, we have her so the sound machine on um, we have the breathing mat up there as well and obviously the camera up there you may think I'm a bit OTT but I just have like extreme anxiety um but yeah that's that you like i said usually um she'll be up there for i could be up there for about 10 or luke will be up there for 10 20 minutes for her to sleep but she's gone down really well so i'm now going to clean up the bathroom um to clean up the bathroom clean up the nursery and then i'm going to pump and then luke should be home and then i'm going to go for a shower and then i'll probably go to bed um, but yeah that's our nighttime routine so yeah <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. And we will see you in the next one.